Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to take a walk down memory lane, and I'm going to show you the very first save file that I played in. Now, this may not be the very first save that I played in in 2014 when The Sims 4 was released, but it is the save file that made me who I am today. Hey, wavy babies. It's Ocean Sims. I hit 5K, 5K, 5,000 of you are watching me, 5,000 wavy babies, 5,000 of you are subscribed to me. There would not be an Ocean or an Ocean Sims without this save file. I installed it when I first got my game and PC back in like, I think March, 2018. And because my computer could actually handle the save file, I was so excited that I immersed myself in it completely. To prove to you how much this meant to me if you go to my oldest videos my very first handful of lps are in the save file they actually take place in it one of my oldest lps charlie ann was birthed from the save file my vampire challenge all of this all of the goodness <laughs> is because of this save file the save file that i want to talk about today is the maristella plus save file by jimba this save file is very old i'm talking prior to seasons like a little bit before seasons one thing that's notable about the save file is that the worlds are are renamed. So we have Blith Harbor, Mary Stella, Newland Hills, and Linport. So it's only these four worlds that are completely made over. And I love that they have their own names. It just felt so immersive. Oh my gosh, this is already bringing back nostalgia because the bamboo walk and what's this goldie's Gr yes goldie's griddle like i would have my sims in here all the time nine east eatery and bar and let me tell you when you think about a save file that was created before the birth of all these other dlcs because literally we have like 80 plus dlcs for the sims 4 right now it's crazy it's just amazing at how realistic and how detailed and cluttered and sims-esque this save file is and my favorite thing about it the families in their homes that were built for them so i really can't wait to just like dive in and show you my favorite parts of the safe file and why i love it so much like it is truthfully always going to be one of my favorites it's so funny because i always think about going back because a lot of these families well all of the families they don't have cold and hot weather attire because it was made before seasons <laughs> The save file is so diverse, like there's big families, one, which is like a plus when you're playing with save files. And it's just so neat because there's a lot of like kids and stuff and I love family gameplay. So all the kids always had friends and these different personalities and stories that they have, it's just awesome. But I want to head over to Meristella, also known as Oasis Springs, which was like my favorite neighborhood. I still don't know why this, or world, I don't know why this is my favorite world, but there's one family in particular that had me in a chokehold. Before we jump in the video, I'd love to thank our sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. I've worked with them before, I've advocated for them, and I've also ordered from them before. And honestly, with grocery prices increasing, you can save money, eat better, and stress less because HelloFresh is going to handle your meal planning and shopping for you. All you have to do is choose from a variety of chef-crafted recipes and they deliver it right at your door. In my case, I've gotten stuck on what to cook, especially for breakfast and that's the most important meal of the day but hellofresh makes it easier to get your day started right now they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life that's right i said it you get one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active it's a new year it's a new you this is the perfect time to try out hellofresh especially if you haven't tried them before and so if you'd like to try it out go to my description and click on my link and use my code pog ocean free and receive one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active thank you hellofresh for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it i have to talk about the florist family i'll read this story it's simple the florists are a fun loving family who love to be outside but enjoy their home too kiko is a writer and vanessa is a stay-at-home mom they have three lovely children isa maddie and rihanna let me tell you i've played with them like five times so here's their home and it is known as the boho ranch i quite literally have butterflies in my stomach just thinking about it because i just remember spending so much time here you all i'm not even lying i spent so much time playing in this house
house. This is the daughter here. This is Isa, and she's so cute. I always viewed her as like the oldest of the family for some reason. I just viewed her as the older sister. She always just seems so responsible. She's a grade B student when you jump in game. And this is her brother, Maddie Flores. So you see him, he's so cute. I always thought he was a little bit mischievous, so I'd always do like mischievous interactions or just he's the goofball of the family. And I love that this is added to his personality, neutral confidence from the Growing Together pack. This wasn't around when I played with this family. So just seeing like what they have going on, it just makes me so happy. I kind of want to play with them again. I'm not going to lie. But this is baby sis, Rihanna, and she is so spoiled. I've spoiled this little girl so much. And literally like this family with their three children, they are just so perfect. Let me just show you kiko yep he's already on his dad vibes right now checking in on his daughter i swear the one thing i loved about them it felt like they were real it felt like they were really genuinely family oriented like they will go to their kids help them with homework autonomously it just always felt like good family vibes so kiko loves the outdoors he's creative muser family oriented and then his wife Vanessa was neat, family oriented, and loves the outdoors. Which, if you didn't know me back then, this is the triple double whammy of traits for me. I would love to make every sim neat, family oriented, <laughs> and loves the outdoors because clearly I I lacked originality in how I wanted my sim. Let me tour their house because again, this is a big part on why the save was so important for me. So, first and foremost, they were like this, you know, again bohemian vibes. Mom could just wash clothes out here. I actually would use this thing. I can't tell you the last time. I use this thing the inside was just so beautiful so let's go to the kitchen first look at him watching cartoons with his dad not the cell phone thing this is ruining the vibe because they wouldn't do this before but since high school years sims always like to be on their phone and stupid stuff like that but their home was very colorful and I find now that I don't really play in like colorful homes and and you know loudness in a house I love like my little you know, clean aesthetic or grunge aesthetic, but never like that colorful bohemian fun vibe. And I used to love setting the table here and having them eat in this cute little like nook, like this little space. I don't even know if you'd call it that, but the kitchen, beautiful. Like, do you see this? And again, like this is just with the items that we had so far in the game. I didn't really get into furnishing until like, I think after YouTube, like I just didn't really furnish my homes that well. So this was like everything to me. I was like, whoa, I was blown away. This is the parents' room and the parents' bathroom. But one thing I really love is the kids' bathroom. Like their bathroom really does look like a messy kids' bathroom. Like something you'd see in the trailer of parenthood game, like the parenthood game pack. And then baby girl's bedroom is so unique because there's actually a bassinet here. I think I let them have a, another baby one time because having four kids was overload for me. I was not an expert Sims player, especially at that time. So even just the three kids would overwhelm me a lot. And this is Maddie and uh, Issa's bedroom, which I thought was really nice because it was separated by a divider. And I just thought that was so cool because my kids share a bedroom and it's awesome sometimes, you know, like not every kid needs their own bedroom. Like sometimes it's nice just to share with a sibling. But that wasn't what made this house so special. And let me tell you, this is setting the standard for the rest of the entire city, which is why I'm so excited this area i could live down here it's just this beautiful basement space there's an extra shower down here a bathroom which came in handy especially when the kids grow older because all of them would have to take showers and stuff at the same time and back then i used to not like cheat up needs i would actually try to complete them <laughs> But um, this area was just magical for me. I love the fact that we could have a little puppet show here for the family. And they did that often. They would watch their kids do puppet shows. They were a very hands-on family. You can see they have a whole entire room dedicated to their kids. And I just thought it was so cool. Like the art table. I mean, we have so many cool things now that this would just come to life with even the new objects we have. I could have them down here making friendship bracelets from the Growing Together kit. I mean, expansion. Like there's so many good things. But but it's just so fun like the little sink and then dad had his own office here which i really love like he had his own little office and in fact corrects me if i'm wrong literally i remember i couldn't figure this out 
until I finally figured it out. But if I just click on the computer, he wouldn't come down here. I would have to, you saw that it just canceled out. I had to make him sit and then he would, <laughs> then he would write. And I just used to find that so funny because I used to think like something was broken. And back then I wasn't very smart. So I'd be like, oh my God, like my game is glitching. No, it's not. It's just something probably weird with build mode. Cause I have books and all that. I don't know, but I'd have to click on the chair to get him to write. And I just, it's funny that it's still like that right now in game, not the favorite from declared favorite, but, but well, why can't Maddie be the favorite? What did he do wrong? Oh my goodness. <laughs> not the not the new features messing up uh, the game no that's so sad you see how that that little that little detail so this is a family that i literally would just play out over and over and over and i might even just make a current save where i just play them on the side because being in here i'm remembering times of my life where like stuff was going wrong but this was going right and i just it brought me so much peace and i even have mod reviews old mod reviews featuring this family because i love them that much and they were just amazing <laughs> just amazing i love them oh and also let me just go here when you start the save kiko is cool with naomi and tasha they are married they actually live right over where are they right here um they're the sundells and they live over here in this beautiful home when you go to vanessa she's actually not um cool with them she's cool with uh vivian and candy and dennis which is super random super random so i don't remember it being like that but i just love it right next to the florist's house is the um mojito starter and i loved it so much you actually might notice this house in my lovesick lp uh one of the characters lives here you can find it on the gallery still rose on the gallery look at the screen it'll be up there i'm gonna put it in and uh i love this home so much it is so oasis springs that's the only thing i can say and it is literally a starter so whenever i would start a save in here and i just had a single sim it would work out with that too if you go on my tumblr and my old old tumblr post i have like the very first sim that i made and i put them in this house so it's just crazy to view it again and it'll always have that soft spot for me i love it and then there is this home over here the thompson household where we have this simnika who is a self-assured comedian who loves music and good food and here is where the real wavy babies the wavy family from the og decade is going to come out right now because there is another series that i played here jacqueline she lived in this home and it was just so cool. I wish I still did things like this, like the colors, the everything. I feel like my gameplay now is just so full of like the colors I like. Cream, black, white, like the most boring houses ever, but this was so fun. And it was the essence of my whole like Sims vibe back then. I loved the the colors and the brightness, like purple and yellow bar stools. Yes, give it to me. So this home is another, I think, believe it's a starter as well. Yes, it is. So you could totally move uh, the other household out and move in here too. So enough about starters. I do want to continue talking about the families here. So we do have the Maristella musicians, which they live in a little trailer park community. And it's awesome because now we can make that possible. So should I do that for them? Probably so. We have the Rockview Villagers, which I think they also have a group, like a club, and they're like a gardening community. And then we have the Sundells, which I showed you just a little bit, a married couple with two children. I want to come down here in the Parge Prospect neighborhood because this is where I found it pretty interesting because there's this house called the Taki Roommates here. Diraj Koei or Kohli, sorry, won a major award which included oodles of cash and used it to start up an incubator house full of techies who will hopefully make the world better place, a better place through coding. So we should probably check them out because it's a very interesting storyline with, you know, four young adults. So we're in the techie household now. So as opposed to your roomie's household with Zoe Patel and Gav and all them, this is the most brilliant concept ever. We're actually in the basement right now, which I think is a pretty gnarly vibe. And it would actually be really cool to turn this into a residential rental so that we could potentially separate the rooms and kind of really give it that roommate vibe and then make everything else a shared space. Let's just look at the outside of the house. I'm doing this all backwards, but how mid-century modern is this? It is so stunning, right? They even have this little satellite here. It brings me so much joy. Okay, clearly. What I love about Jim Bissay is that if you look at the other houses all the other houses look very much the same they all look mid-century modern and it looks very cohesive the architecture is beautiful it's different it's stunning look at this money bag like whose is this with the broken 
the computers and hard drives, the element collection, like whose is this? Whose room is this? Um, what does this do? Ooh, yeah, they're smart. <laughs> they're pretty smart. I haven't played with them, so these are the skills that you know they all have. Looks like they all have a high video gaming skill as well, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, their house is cool. They have pools. Most of the homes, I realize, in Oasis Springs have pools, which is kind of cool. But look at this little area. This area right here just made me feel like, yeah, th this is the roomies vibes that I I want. I just think this is awesome. It's a very intentional space. It makes me a little sad because I really miss Jimba. Like I really wish the other worlds were updated by then. It's another morning in Oasis Springs and I had to show off the Thompson household family next. Before I jump into like the community lots that I love around here, I really want to show you this household because this was a family where I absolutely just love their house so much and their family that I never really played because when things are too perfect I really feel like they're, they were perfect at that time I just don't want to play it up and mess it up like I didn't want the kids to age up and everything it was different than the Flores household I was like I just always want to see them <laughs> the way they are I don't want them to age I don't want anything to happen they have like this little like backyard space on the side which I absolutely love it has like this little like lemonade stand and the kids stuff it's, it's just like this little l-shaped backyard almost they have a couple of planters back here here. Um, but notably they have like their big old pool but the one thing I love is this huge tree in the middle of their house almost as if the house was purposely built around it and inside you can play like chess or just hang out as a family here and I love it because you can see it from the inside and it was just such a unique architecturally like I don't see this type of stuff where I live <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you might see this and you're like okay like it's really not that deep but hey it was 2018 and I hadn't really seen a lot of houses that was built like this I was so amazed so when you come in the house you have this beautiful entryway and the house again is colorful it's unique it's it's built for the family and they even have this beautiful art space because you know mom loves art but I love how Jimba incorporated these spaces for the children to just be and for skill building like the homes were big enough to incorporate these spaces for them and that really meant a lot to me like we even have the piano and everything here um and then coming back here like i miss like like imagine walking in your hallway and you can just see like the trees and stuff out here that is amazing um, but i thought it was so unique because their bathroom like the kids bathroom it's just primary colors it is so unique it is so fun oh my gosh i love how the the current features are, are, are mingling in with this. Yes, of course he likes small talk, I think. But I love this. Like a blue sink and a red sink. I mean, some of you might play like this, but I don't really play like this. And it reminds me of how far away I've gotten from that quirky, silly craziness of The Sims that we all love and, and enjoy. You know, everything is so aesthetic now. But back then, you can tell from my reshade. <laughs> I was like a colorful baddie. You throw me some colors. In fact, my old reshade was blank it's kind of intense but I love this and I love this big huge kids room I miss this I miss this so much it was so fun to play in and this is baby girl's room like look at her room it's so huge and just a beautiful kids room it's crazy because when you see everything like this you feel like this is it and it's crazy to know that we've had like so many DLCs like we have 80 DLCs in The Sims 4 why but it's crazy to know that it's not it, this that does not fill this house yet this house looks like it's filled with so much but again like there this is the parents bathroom it's so pretty and then this is the parents bedroom it's so zen and like sultry ish and i love that and then notably they have this really big living room space i feel like i thrived in this safe because all of the spaces were big enough and accommodating for the big families they have a basement i think yeah they do okay they have a basement but there's nothing in here that you can do whatever you want with this space. But do you see what I mean? Like this house just felt so perfect. I didn't even want to mess it up. Now I want to talk about some of the community lots. And I really feel like we're just setting the whole bar of this entire save. Um, I'm just trying to look around because I'm thinking to myself, do I want to show you new Chris after I do this? There's so many things that are just staples to me that I have to show you. So you see this beautiful, beautiful pool here. This was built pre-season. So I'm going to show you what it looks like after the creator like updated it. So the creator is Sil Rose actually updated the lot for seasons. Oh my goodness. I'm learning in the comments. Ocean review this and suddenly I need it too. Ocean. Oh. <laughs> This is so funny. I cannot stop laughing. I love y'all so much. I saw this pool in Ocean Sims glitch playthrough and I needed to have it in game. 
This is 2019. Oh my gosh, I love you all so much. This just literally just made the entire video. Need I say more? <laughs> I love y'all so much. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I mean, it's true. Um, once it was updated, I was like, oh, yes. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and put that in game. So as you can see now, like we have the sprinklers instead. We have the little toddler pool. It's not much of a difference, but it's one of my favorite pool community lots. It is literally hands down the most fun pool lot ever. You have a grilling space and I love this little like faux lifeguard station, but it was just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful with these jungle adventure tiles. Like, come on, like the architecture and everything. Jimba was just miles ahead of their time. And I just really hope that that creator gets their flowers because this save file, again, I just, I would be nothing without it. Next, I want to give an honorable mention to the Soul Calf restaurant. I really love this restaurant. It definitely made me feel like we had a little piece of California here before Del Sol Valley. Um, it just gave me California vibes, like a nice little bistro type bistro is that like the right thing to say i don't know but just a nice cute little small restaurant let's change it to nighttime like look at it there's big tables for bigger parties and there's small intimate tables i love that you could just see the chefs and everyone cooking right here right in front of your face i just loved it it's the simple things for me but out here in this space especially at nighttime it is so romantic because sometimes there would be performers like random townies this is when you can you know insert yourself in they would be performing so i don't want to take up too much of your time but i do want to show you other aspects of the safe valve. So we are in Blith Harbor right now. The next thing that I want to honorably mention is the Goth household. This is one of the few safe files where I feel like the Goth family had a home that wasn't so goth. And what I mean by that is that it wasn't as characterized as the current home or the previous homes. It looks a little bit more classic and doesn't stand out like a sore thumb, <laughs> which is nothing wrong with that, but I do prefer this for my world. And you will find something bittersweet, the OG Bella goth in here before EA makeover or Max's uh, makeover of the family. Here is the home. So it's definitely just not the goth residence that we are used to, but it made it a little bit easier to play in and build a flow. Like Cassandra's room has a computer in it and it just feels more... I don't know, just more of my style, I guess, versus the uh, the previous home. But I really did uh, like the way that this looked. And then they even have a pool in the backyard. And the balcony area is really nice. Like they have a bar and everything. But yeah, it's like a luxurious home, but without the... Uh, just like that. It's not a statement piece on the corner of Willow Creek anymore. It's just, it's just their home, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just a simple home now in Willow Creek. And lastly, I wanted to head back to Newland Hills because I do have a lot of memories here too. But first, I wanted to share a um, family that I just thought like their whole home and vibe were just so cool. So this was the Hannon household. Here is the Hannon home and it is called the Brictorian and I think it is absolutely beautiful. On this entire street of Newcrest, I love how they are older homes, Victorian style. And typically when I'm playing in Newcrest, I love when the homes have a more older appearance on this street. I have no idea why. It's just, I love that. The home itself is actually so cool. So the first floor... You know, you have this living room. The lighting is kind of like warm. Just these two parents with their two sons. And I believe both of them are musicians. Are they? Or is the other one? Oh, <laughs> he's a teenager. Zach is a teenager in high school. Jarvis is a musician. The home is just decorated so beautifully. Like I thought the kitchen was so nice with this like industrial kind of look and feel to it. This just feels like old Sims to me. The upstairs is pretty boring. Like this is obviously where like the parents probably sleep. There's an extra bedroom. I can't, I can't think figure out if the parents have two separate bedrooms or if this is just like an extra guest room. And I say that because on the bottom, which it appears to be like, this is the teenager's room right here. I think this is Jarvis's room because I can't imagine Zach being a teenager and sleeping on an air mattress. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so this is probably uh, Zach's room, the teenager. So I love it. Like they both stay down in the basement and they have their own bathroom and there's like this really fun bar area and then here Jarvis can just like do music and then I'm gonna go visit this library with uh yeah probably with the younger brother 
Here is Newland Hills Academy, which feels like a school. And, you know, now we have a school, a high school lot in Copperdale. But this was great, especially for the little kids to feel like they had kind of like a school area to go to. This is a, you know, kind of makeshift classroom. But it's so cool, like what we could do with the objects at the time. Like, I love it. I think it's just so beautiful, the color schemes. Here is the library. We have lockers here, which is crazy because we actually have real lockers now that we can decorate. But these are just like the gym lockers. And then upstairs, this is supposed to be the cafeteria. We have lunch boxes on the table. And it's just awesome how they were, you know, able to kind of capture that. And then we have two offices here, which are probably like the principal offices, vice principal. And uh, in the basement or like the lower level of the school, I thought this was so cool. We have the science station, science laboratories for the children. So cool, right? It just looks so fun. And then I love the music room because it included a DJ station. And sometimes I would forget this existed so it was fun to kind of just like play around with this these are supposed to be music stands even though they're not music stands but they totally pass as that right like here's the violins and all that so i just feel like they put so much of thought into this like how there's even a pool outside a pool area like we don't even need high schools. Don't even go to high school. Just visit this place after school <laughs> and make it feel like a school because there's so much to do here. And that is all I had to show you today, my wavy family. If you made it to the end of this video, you are awesome. Thank you so much for allowing me to just go take a walk down memory lane and embrace this moment. I literally miss this safe house so much. And, you know, I'm thinking about just kind of like fixing it up, you know, a little bit, updating certain aspects of it. But nonetheless, it's perfect just the way that it is. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep stemming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video peace out